What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in today's video, we're going to be continuing the modded Minecraft server setup series. So previously, I've covered RLCraft and Valhizia 2, and this is the third video in the series. Of course, if you'd like to check those out or any of my other videos, make sure to check the description down below for a playlist. Today, we'll be covering HR New Beginnings. So to set up an HR New Beginnings server, simply download and launch up the Twitch launcher. Head across to the Mods tab at the top, Minecraft, Browse Mod Packs, and simply search for it in the top right or find it on the featured list. Then click on it and you'll get taken to this page over here. If you don't already have it installed, click Install in the top right and then click Download Server Pack. That'll then open up your browser and it will start the download straight away. This download is 233 megabytes, but of course the size may be different for you at the time of you doing it. So I placed the zip on my desktop that we just downloaded and the game itself has finished downloading as well. I'll simply open up the zip, then I'll take the file from inside of it and I'll drag it across to somewhere like my desktop or somewhere easy to access. After doing that, you can close out of the zip and delete it. Opening up the folder that we just extracted, we have a bunch of files inside of it. We have a readme.txt, which will tell us some info about setting up the server. So the first step over here is describing how to set it up to work if the start.bat file doesn't work for you off the bat. You can simply follow along the steps if double clicking on this doesn't work, but we'll get there in a second. So first it tells us to open up the game and accept the EULA. Then if we want to enable biomes of plenty, we'll add it to our server.properties once it's generated. So that's pretty easy. Simply locate start.bat or simply start in the folder, double click on it and click run if prompted. Then you'll see a black window pop up. It'll run through, add some text, and we'll eventually see a couple of new files pop up. We'll see eula.txt, simply open it up, and you'll see this text inside of it. Change false to true, hit Control S to save, and close it. Then the next time that you open up start.bat, your server should simply start up. Of course, if we'd like to enable biomes aplenty, simply open up server.properties with notepad or a similar editor, and scroll down until you see level type. Then in here, we can change it from default to biomes aplenty as such. Then we can hit Control S to save it. And of course, you can set up a custom MOTD and everything like that. After you're done, make sure to save it and you can go ahead and open up start.bad. But before you do that, you can right click on it and click edit or simply open it up with notepad and we can go ahead and adjust the amount of RAM that we're giving the server. So how much RAM should you give your server? Well, as much as possible while leaving space for A, your PC and Windows to function as well as other programs and of course the actual game itself if you're going to play on the same computer that you're hosting the server on. So opening up Task Manager and heading across to the Performance tab, you can see that under Memory I have 64 gigabytes available, of which I'm only using about 13. Now of course you'll probably have 8, 12 or 16, just make sure that you have more than enough for the actual server to start up and your actual game on top of it, and then still have a bit of headroom for Windows and other programs to actually work. How much you should give the server? Well, that's up to you to decide, but the recommended minimum is 4 gigabytes. So of course, because I have tons of memory I can give it, the more memory I give it, the better it'll perform. I'll go ahead and give it 16 gigs. So I'll select the 4 and change it to 16. XMX is the maximum amount of RAM that we're giving the server, and XMS is the starting amount of RAM that we're giving the server. Of course, to add or subtract gigabytes, simply change the number next to the capital G. If you'd like to be more specific and use megabytes, use the capital M and multiply whatever by a thousand to get gigabytes. So 16 gigabytes, 16 G is the same as 16,000 M, 16,000 megabytes. But to keep it simple, I'll leave it as 16 G, Hit Control S to save it, close out of the notepad, and simply double click on start.bad. Then our server will go ahead and launch up, and we'll be able to join it in just a second. Of course, a few more files and folders will generate, those will be our world, and a bunch of other things. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and start up my game as well. But before I do, I'm going to go ahead and give it some more RAM to use. So, I'll head across to the Mods tab at the very top of Twitch, Minecraft, and you'll see the mod pack under My Mod Packs. Click on it. Hit the settings button in the top right and then head across to profile options. In here we can uncheck use system memory settings and we can set a custom amount of RAM that we want to start it with. I'll be using the maximum that I can, 12 gigs. OK and play. Now I'll simply wait for both the game and the server to start up. And there we go, both the game and the server have successfully started up. I'll simply head across to the multiplayer tab, add a server 
And in the server address, I'll either enter local host or I'll enter 127.0.0.1. After adding it, we'll be able to connect to our server. Now, of course, 127.0.0.1 or localhost will only work if you're hosting on the same computer as you're playing on. Of course, if you'd like your friends to access it from other internet connections, make sure to check the description down below for a video explaining Minecraft port forwarding. Anyways, once you see your server, simply go ahead and join it and you'll be dropped right into the world where you can go ahead and start playing. Now, of course, if you'd like to give yourself ops so you can give yourself creative or anything like that, simply pause the game Head across to the console and type in op space your name. So TCNO is my name. Enter. And as you can see, I've made myself a server operator. I'll simply use game mode, creative as such. And now I'm in creative mode. I have all of the admin perms as needed. So of course, from here on out, you're just playing the game as you'd expect. And of course, if you'd like your friends to join, they can. And of course, to go ahead and actually save your server before closing it, simply disconnect from the server and head across to your console. Now, of course, while hitting the X up here and closing your server this way will probably work and more than likely it'll have everything saved. It's not the method that I prefer. If you'd like to make sure that absolutely everything is saved so you lose absolutely no progress, make sure you have the console selected, type in save hyphen all and hit enter. This will go ahead and save the world and everything else on the server. And of course, once we've done that, we can type in stop to gracefully bring the server to a close. After doing that, to launch up your server again, simply make sure to run start.bat. This has been how to set up a new beginning server. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!